This is a sponsored video, so there will be some bias, even if it's the only like unconscious bias, but I'll try and avoid being overly analytical for that sake, and also you can make up your own mind based on the footage you see here. Hello, I'm Entrism, and welcome to a sponsored Let's Play of Galactic Civilization 3 Crusade! Crusade being the latest DLC for Galactic Civilization 3, as you may have guessed. We're gonna dive into a new game, and I was tempted to play the Snaffy Revenge an evil sect of an already evil race. I like the idea of evil squirrels. They just look awesome. Like, look at them. They're pirate squirrels. How, how would they not be awesome? How can you not love them? But I kind of still want to create my own civilization. However, we are going to create a different faction of the Snaffy. Oh, you look awesome. No, we want squirrel. Hello. And background. I'm kind of tempted by this. Like, we're actually not really squirrels. What we are is, like, Terminator squirrels. Like, you know, there's red eye. It gives away we're Terminators. But then we have to build our own populations and they don't grow. Uh, we'll go with normal squirrels for now. Also, you know, we're meant to be the fraction of... A faction, not fraction, of the uh, Snaffy anyway. So, we are the Scurrier Splinter. There we go. Leader name. Squarius Maximus Decimus Meridius. We'll just shorten it to Squarius Maximus. Traits and abilities. We've got five points. Ooh. Now, this is going to be tough. So we are slightly clever, fertile squirrels, which are unpopular, but we have extremely dense ships, so they have lots of stuff in them. They are a bit fragile, though. Uh, they are fast and organized. Okay. Civilization abilities. 25% chance of capturing the ships of your vanquished foes. That is what the Snaffy have anyway, so maybe it'd be tempting to pick this and be like, we are related to the Snaffy. Asians never cost credits. Wealthy. Stop. I really like the idea of cybernetic. So I'm going to say we go cybernetic scavengers. That way, 25% chance to capture the ships of your vanquished foes. It just seems to make sense to me. Okay. And choose one ship you want to start with. Survey, Colony, Constructor, Scout, Furies. Two small warships armed with experimental weapons and defense systems. We're gonna go with the Survey Ship. Because we need to find out where our enemies are before we can attack them. Appearance. Uh, is there a nice red? Be the Dringen. That's the interface. Yeah, we'll go for red. Map theme. We still have to be red, I think, because we've got the red alleys and it matches our aesthetic. Okay, just no, no Drengen. No Drengen on the map. We need them. Ship colors. Oh, that looks badass. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, ship style. Um... Mm, now, ship style, I think this is new in uh, Crusades, is that you can have a ship style and it basically picks all your ships and then you can change them individually. Uh, whereas before it didn't really work the full set. I've downloaded off the workshop Space Shark Ship Style, by the way. It's amazing, but sadly there's only like five different ones and they're replaced, like repeated. Um, so some of them are just bigger versions of smaller ones. I think we'll, uh, we'll pick and mix our ships, which is sense because we're like scavengers and stuff. It makes complete sense for me, at least, you know, that's what I think. Um, which is the base we want to go with? It begins with an A. Sure, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Right, fleet. Now, here you notice that we have our ships. We've got the defaults, you know, our constructor ship, etc. Blah, blah, blah. And over here we have templates. Core, user, downloaded. Uh, we are going to want to find... Cargo ship. I think a cargo ship should be replaced with this one I downloaded off the workshop. You may recognize it as Serenity from Firefly. Or from Serenity. 
Yeah, look at that. Some there there are not many users on the uh, on the Steam Workshop who produce quality content, but those that do produce loads, and they are very good. We're definitely gonna have Serenity as our uh, our freighter. So we have our little freighter. We have a survey ship. We have a little bomber patrol. We have a cutter. Corvette. Even a frigate. A paladin. Destroyer. Battleship. I like this one. This one looks pretty cool. Uh, this is our avatar. This is our fortress. This is our dreadnought. And I believe that is it. Right. Personality. We are going to be malevolent. First contact. Uh, you know what? Whatever. Just pick the defaults. Character traits. Select all character traits can be used to describe the civilization. Aggressive. Yes. Cruel. Yes. Expansionist. Yes. Greedy. Yes. Opportunistic. Yes. Scient I wouldn't really say scientific. Like, we are clever, but we're not really scientific. Xenophobic? Eh, no, I think we just... We, we don't, like, inherently hate other civilizations, we just want their stuff. Ship construction should probably be there. Expansion should probably be there. Expansion maybe two. Um, growth there. Logistics there. Fortification there. Sure, that sounds reasonable. Choose portraits. Choose from existing portraits or add your custom portraits. Okay. I believe there are a load of squirrels already. So, there we go. Look at that. They look so cool. Um, add male. Add female. Add male. Add female. Add male. Add female. Add male. Add it's female. Male. 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 I don't know. I don't. I don't know. F genders of squirrels. Done. There we go. Did it? Hasn't changed anything. I'm not sure if it selected them or not. Can I select multiple? No. Is okay, I guess we've done it. Hmm. Oh, well, we're good. Save civilization. Yes, I want to save fleet changes. Yes. There we go. Have you the Snappy Revenge? The Scurrier. The Scurrier. Whoopsie. Misspelt that. Whatever. I'm going to go change that because it's bugging me. Grr. Right. We got our ships as well. Yeah, it has kept our ships. Save. Took control of Snaffles and went to space. Right, next. We're going to be a medium. Yes, I would like to change the number of civilizations. Scattered, spiral, loose, tight. I'm going to say scattered. That's all reasonable. I mean, maybe I should go occasional. Nah, we'll just leave it as it is. Black off frequency and common, 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 rare. Sure. All victories. We'll turn off the turn limit. Gameplay. That is fine by me. Disable AI surrendering. Tempting, but no. Right. Uh, we're going to remove the Drengin Empire. And we're going to add... I think I accidentally made one earlier when I was practicing. Uh, we could add the Snaffy Revenge. We could fight them as well. No, we get too confusing. I'm easily confused. Uh, let's go Thor. Ooh. The 
Terran Resistance. Sure. No teams. Random, random, random. Ah, uh, provided we don't go the Drengen, can I... You know what? I should probably just select them rather than the Drengen. Let's get three more who aren't the Drengen. Because if I get the Drengen, they're going to be the same color on the map as me. We'll add the Iconians. We'll add... No one wants United Earth. Bad United Earth. Go away. We'll add the Kryn. And we'll add... The Torians. There we go. And let's start. Wait, what's this? That's the uh, number of players that are random. Ah, yeah, and I got rid of them. Okay, yeah, cool. Start. Hot loading data. Oh. An alien species of unknown history and makeup. No one knows who they are, where they came from, but it's a big galaxy. There's always going to be someone who fell through the cracks. They could be aggressive, civil, intelligent, foolish, large, nose, or any combination of the above. The species of many qualities. Some of them will no doubt be good and bad. Okay, ooh, what's this? Precursor anomaly, heavily defended. Okay, as much as I want that. Oh, hello. I need to go to my interface and. Uh... I've got you lowered. Why are you not. Okay. Uh, we have an artifact. I'm not going to attack that. That's heavily defended. Um, Antimatter. Ooh. Ascension crystal. Artifact. And here is our beautiful survey ship. Oh, it's glorious. We're going to go grab this artifact. Your survey ship cautiously approaches a mysterious object, all sensors set to maximal gain. A secret of the universe, the first of many, is about to reveal itself to you. You're not quite sure, I'd an artifact of immense and obvious monetary value made its way back to Fleet Command, but your survey crew will surely enjoy a pat on the back and a shiny medal more than something so crass as a little permanent absurd luxury. We get money and we get experience points. Hmm. What's this? That's a dead world. Okay. Capsule, space junk. We'll go for the space junk. We like space junk. Right, this is our homeworld. I may only have called it homeworld. I may have to rename it. Uh, right. Hmm. Done. Let's have a look at our technologies, actually. Um, we can go recovery. Learn how to make use of the resources already floating around the galaxy. Scavengers chance plus 10%, mining plus 1, strategic repair, or artificial gravity, which allows the hyperspace project and moves plus 1. I like plus 1 moves. We're going to pick you. I like plus 1 moves. More moves the better. Okay, can we rename you? There we go. We're going to call you, uh... Snathos, wasn't it? Yeah. Done, Snathos. Okay, we need to build something here. Uh, we're going to build a shipyard. And then... Mm, we'll just go with shipyard for now. Hit next turn. Okay. Greetings, Square Earth Maximus. Welcome to the Galactic Bazaar. You probably have already realized this is a dangerous galaxy out there. The good news is that the Corks are here and ready to lend a helping hand. We have several talented mercenaries available that are willing to help you out, for a reasonable price, that is. Don't let this opportunity slip by. Supplies are limited and your enemies may be more willing to make a deal. What have you got? Oh, and we managed to find the cargo pod of stuff that we landed on. Ooh. Ooh. We can just buy ships off you? The survey ship of the mercenary Boric the Quick. 
Long and fast range scout ship of the mercenary heretic. Ooh. Wow, mercenaries of dreadnoughts? Damn. Okay, what I think we should do, we can't get any of these because we need like Promethean and antimatter and blah. I think we should probably get an extra um, scout ship. Wow, it's got it's got 105 mass over 84. It's got more than it can actually handle in terms of mass. Yeah, let's get you. I, I will hire you. Where's your ship? There it is. So I'm going to say go down here grab this artifact. Not bad. More for the treasury. Ooh. You've got a damn good move. You've got 11 move? I think we made a good choice in hiring you. Thank you. 11 move. Promethean. Nice. Not a bad location down here. We got five. I'm so glad I hired you. You're such a good hire. Okay. Uh, I think we're just good for this turn then. Mm, I could tell you to move and just find anomalies. What's this? Another star. You know what? I'm just going to tell you to survey. Go find anomalies. Not much for the treasury, but we got some. Ooh, hello. Back hole. More stuff for the treasury. Antimatter. Nebula with stuff. Pretty black hole. We were not able to generate gravity, but rather channel it. By doing so, we can make our world living much more productive. We've got the Hypsis Project. Increases the maximum speed of our ships by one. Got achievement once per galaxy. We get move plus one. Okay. Choose new tech. Do you want to do interstellar travel? Improves sensor, life support, and speed of all ships. Not bad. Optimal manufacturing. Larger hull size. I think we should go interstellar travel to begin with, just because then we can start making the ships that got like a longer range and stuff. Oh, I just punched the microphone. Sorry! Really angry at the microphone. Bizarre. Are you just indicating that there is one thing I can buy with that? I thought you might have something new, new in stock. Um, no. You can't survey, so done. Okay. Uh, we're going to call that, then, next turn. There's our influence starting to pop out. Yeah, not much in the treasury there, but we'll take it. Okay. Next turn. Well, you managed to get some good stuff there. Oh! I didn't stop in this one. I thought I'd grab that one, then the next one, but no. I'd have to click on them in turn. Damn it. Okay. Uh, oh, well. Um, did we find anything habitable? Uh, uh, excellent world here? Ooh. Oh, the Drantium Cloud hurts food, though. But should be unsponsored by this world, gain a bonus to any mass driver ships produced. We should probably try and grab this. It's a 15 world nearby. I don't think we're going to get a lot better. How are you doing with your, like, production? Shipyard, four more turns. 
The alien computational systems found as capsule are so advanced that your survey team lacks the words to describe all but their most rudimentary functions. Ooh. Even those lower level capabilities, however, are enough to advance our technological studies by leaps and bounds. We get 15% towards interstellar travel. More money. And another 15% towards interstellar trap. Hey! I approve of this. Uh, yeah, you should probably just come down here. Hmm, good amount of valerium, at least. More money. Okay, go back to surveying. I'll let you do your, your shtick. Mysterious hardware. Okay. We did finish our research, so I guess it couldn't really do anything. Ooh. Prototype hyperdrive, which costs antimatter. Hyperdrive plus. Thrusters. Stellar sensors, environmental support. Perimeter scanner. Okay. Small hull size is tempting. Recovery. I think we should grab this and then grab recovery. Because we need the bigger hull size because it can fit more stuff. Yeah. How are we come with that? Still three turns? No, no. Did we build it? Yeah, three turns away. Three turns away. We probably should rush build. Like, why am I not rush building? I should be rush building everything. There we go. We've rush built that. We've now got our own starport, which looks kind of weird. It looks like, you know, you might get like a roller coaster docking there. Uh, and we will... Can we mine rare devils of thulium useful for certain types of weapons and also increases wealth on planet? The Hypesmith Project. Not enough antimatter. If I had antimatter, we could do that. Uh, Begin doing the computer core. What's this? Plus one to wealth. Go there. Okay, fill that. And then if we try and get some antimatter, there's antimatter up here. There's a relic here. Yeah, so if we... Actually, we want to design our own ship. So let's go to the designer. Speciality ships. Ooh. The Erector. There's something very wrong about that. Um... We're going to new design. And, ooh, hello. This is the shark sh um, ships that I was saying about. Like, they look really awesome. We're, oh. Yes, yeah, that's fine. We're going to have to use one of these. Not the Viper. Um, cargo ship. Yes, it's going to be a cargo ship, isn't it? So. We could use Serenity Hull. I feel you, you're not a construction ship. You're not a construction ship. Yeah, use the basic construction hull. And then we'll want to put stuff onto it. So we can't afford this because it uses antimatter. So... I, really? I can stick you there? You're not even attached to the ship. I want to delete that. That looks silly. Sublight drive that gives us technical speed. I don't need that. We need hyperdrive plus. It's just got less mass. Okay. I'll put a few of these on. Okay. So that gives us um, access to the five move. Six move, because the duplicates um, for mirroring don't count as doubles. They just count as aesthetic options. 
and then here. Okay, up to seven move there. That's probably fine. Life support. What's our ship range at the moment? 18. That's got five life support cost. And only slightly high mass. Environmental support. Sure, that seems like a reasonable thing to add. There we go, up to 29.7 now. Constructor module, right, this is the big one. Trying to get in the center is going to be annoying. There we go. And we are at the mass limit. We've just managed it. It was almost like, I planned this. I hadn't, but it'd be awesome if I had. Right, so you can move at a rate of 7. You've got a 30 range beyond our border. Well, I think it's beyond our planets, I think. And you are in a pretty good position right now. Construction. I don't think I could get... Well, I could technically get two on here. No, I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to get enough uh, drives on. Okay. Yeah, we're going to... Options? Ooh, no. I'm done. Cool. Uh, we're going to save you as Constructor M0. Fine. Save. And then done. Right. Quick build me. Constructor M0. Rush build it. Yes, it'll cost us a lot of money, but do it. Right, turn. Nufev, short name. Tipot, Krin, Obishaya, Beher, Rinhin, Holaris. Erasuto ki nekiduk merinit. Uh, you fake nod and smile, and if you understand, then proceed to close the incoming message. Thank you. I totally know what you're on about. Hello. Hello. Um, right, I've got a constructor. Quickly, we need to do something here. If we were to set up a... One, two, three, four, five. So it's got a five range on our star base. If we're going to set up a star base, say here, one, two, three, four, five, one. Does it include us? No, it doesn't include us. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Space one. One, two, three, four, five. Space. One, two, three, four, five. We'll be able to get like three things up here. Okay, I think we should go for here and try and build a starbase. Because then we can get the antimatter, we can get the Promethean, we can get one Illyrium. They've got a load of small worlds over there. And we'll also want to. Build a backbone colony ship. Oh, no, I already did it. Cancel. Thank you. Because we want to colonize this as soon as possible as well. Where is it? Here we go. Because they're close. They might want it. We can't allow that. It's for the squirrels. Idle ship. Um. Survey. Nice, we got some stuff. Right. Oh! We could do it here, and that would get us access to this as well. Done. Command. 
Construct Starbase. Your people have permanent structures in space before, but nothing like this. More than a facility, more than a place to build ships. This Starbase is an extension of your very civilization. Everything you do, everything you're proud of, everything you and your people are, will exist here. Oh yeah. Uh... We definitely want a mining uh, starbase set up. That way you can grab all the stuff. <laughs> Done. And there we go, we have antimatter. Right, how's it It's going to take a very long time. Do we want to do it? Yeah, I think we do. Yeah, okay. Build. We will wait for the compute core to be done, though, because that research buff will be really nice. But we will get the high space project up and running. We've got our, uh, our little star base set up. Oh, they're much more influential than me. This is worrying. Grrr. Well, that's it here for this episode, though. If you've liked, like, and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Feel free to let me know down below what you think I should be doing next. Should I be going to all of them? Should I be expanding? Should I be... I have no idea. I'm up for taking suggestions. But until next time, I've been Aralysium. And stay shiny.